Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of God in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which was commended by the Apostle Paul to be honorable among all men and therefore is not by any to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, advisedly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, these two persons present, now come to be joined as one. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It's not puffed up. Does not behave rudely. Does not seek it own. It's not provoked. Love thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. This is Rachel's heart. Love never fails. But whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part, we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfected has come, then that which is in part will be done away. Jordan, you have said in your own heart, when I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly lit, but then face to face, now I know in part, but then I shall know just as I am known. And now abides faith, hope, and love. And for Jordan and Rachel, the greatest of these is love. For as much as it is consented that we will bring this two together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God in this company and thereto have pledged their faith each to the other by giving and receiving of rings and by the joining of their hand, I pronounce them husband and wife together in the name of the Father and in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You may salute your bride.